Consider a 0 0.500 molar aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide. If enough water is added to a 10.0 milliliter sample of this solution in order to bring up the total volume to 100.0 milliliter, what is the molarity of the resulting solution? Molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute per liter of solution. Mathematically, we say that the molarity is equal to the number of moles of solute divided by the volume of solution in liters. In this question, we are told that water is added to a solution of sodium hydroxide. Adding more water will cause the volume to increase, but the amount of solute remains the same. Referring to our formula for molarity, we can see that this means a larger denominator volume is in the denominator. The same for n. The number of moles is in the numerator. Therefore, adding more water to a solution causes its molarity to decrease. When the concentration of a solution decreases, we say it is being diluted. Without doing any calculation, we should be able to figure out the answer to this question based on the choices given. We expect the resulting solution to have a molarity that is less than the original. The original molarity is 0 0.500. Obviously, choices B, C, and D are all wrong. These values are larger than 0 0.500. The correct answer must be choice A. Let's verify. Let's start with the defining equation for the molarity. Molarity equals N over V. Which we can rearrange to solve for the number of moles. The number of moles N equals molarity times volume. From this we can derive a formula that we can use for any problem dealing with dilution. Remember that in dilution the amount of solute remains unchanged. Therefore, the number of moles of solute before dilution must be equal to the number of moles of solute after dilution. So, Molarity times volume of the original solution is equal to molarity times volume of the final solution. The original solution is called a stock solution. It is common practice in the laboratory to keep concentrated solutions in stock and just dilute a sample of the stock to get less concentrated solutions. If we use the stock as solution 1 and the final solution as solution 2, we can say that during a dilution, M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. The problem is asking us for the molarity of the final solution, so we solve for M2. M2 equals M1 times V1 divided by the final volume, V2. Our stock molarity is given in the problem as 0 0.500 moles per liter. The volume of stock used is given in the problem as 10.0 milliliters. And the value
volume of the resulting solution is given as 100.0 milliliters. Carrying out the indicated calculations, the millimeter unit cancels out. And we get a final answer of 0 0.0500 molar, which is choice A. Note that the final molarity, 0 0.0500, is one-tenth of the original. We say that we did a 1 to 10 dilution. What we have done is increase the volume tenfold, from 10 milliliters to 100 milliliters. As a result, the concentration went down tenfold. You may be wondering why we did not change our volume unit from milliliters to liters. The reason is that the conversion factor will just cancel out anyway, since we have a volume term in the numerator, V1, and a volume term in the denominator, V2. Another way to look at this is by multiplying the molarity of the stock with the volume in milliliters. We are calculating the millimoles of solute. Millimoles per milliliter is equivalent to moles per liter.